explain this meal? Well, we got pancakes. As you can see, they make hit the camera on those pancakes. We got fried chicken. We got mango steam. But this isn't fried chicken. Oh no, it's jackfruit. Right, right so jackfruit. explain what it actually is. Well, jackfruit. It's jackfruit fried chicken, and it's um, you know we don't serve animal product, as you know, at the hotel, but we are really friendly to people who who do eat animals. In other words, some vegan restaurants are, are really um, easy, not as easy for transition. Like for you, that fried chicken, you might as well be at KFC. Oh Except come on, really? Taste it and tell me. And so, is this even remotely healthy? Jackfruit, I have fried chicken, why would, jackfruit's good, very healthy. It's not a bunch of processed soy. The pancakes are gluten free and- It's really good. Of course it does, and the pancakes are gluten free and they're vegan. How did you end up becoming a vegan? Well, my first teachers, not Steve Ross, who played the loud rap music and all, but when I moved to New York after practicing all those days with Steve, I went to a place called Jiva Mukti, and I met my gurus, Sharon and David. They're very, very um, strong advocates of animal rights. And so we were made to watch like Earthlings and all of these movies about the suffering of animals, and there was also some discussion about what we were actually eating in terms of the way they processed and what it was, and, and they just got under my skin and in my head. And so I've been a vegan a very long time. I've been a vegan at least 25 years. The impact that you noticed it having on your life was what? If you go vegan because of the environment, obviously you know the number one cause of global warming is the abuse of animals. By far, the number one cause of global warming. Well, because right. the carbon output of meat production right. is right. astronomical. Right. So there are people who go because they care about the planet. Mm. There are others who go because it's so much healthier not to eat animals. And so you tr have tried to take those lessons and educate people how? Uh, African Americans are three times more likely to be vegan than their white counterparts in America. Which was, when I heard you say that, that was a statistic that I thought was surprising. It's surprising to some that African Americans have uh, transitioned at such a huge rate towards veganism because they have the most diabetes, they have the most uh, cancer, they have the most heart disease, they have the most, so, so for them, the cause of the heart disease, the cause of the diabetes, it's, it's their food. And so they made the transition away from that. So if you have 6% of African Americans going vegan, and only one and a half or 2% of the rest of the world, it's because they see the devastation in their community and the rate at which they're, they're getting sick because of their food. Almost everybody you know dies from diet. Anybody uh, you've been able to convince over the years to convert to veganism that's notable? Almost everybody. I was the first one to push Jay-Z and Beyonce on it. Um, and do, you re do you remember those conversations and what stands out from them? We were in St. Bart's and years ago and they were curious and they asked questions. I don't know that I'm the only influence, but, yep. but him and Jermaine Dupri tells everybody I'm the reason he's vegan. He has now vegan ice cream he sells in Walmart and everywhere. And so if somebody's watching this who the thought of converting their whole diet seems daunting, what are easy steps that you'd recommend to transition? There's vegan food everywhere. I mean, the Chinese restaurant on the corner in the hood always has vegan. Taco Bell, you get bean burrito without the hot clogging cheese and you put the, you put the guacamole instead. I mean, you can over, it's a, it, it's a journey, but you find things you love. And if you're cooking, there's so many things you can cook that are cheaper and better alternatives than what they're selling you. Easy to source all the ingredients here? Yeah. Actually, to find healthier plant-based food here is much easier, as you can imagine. Really? Yeah, you can grow it anywhere. This is the forest we live in. You are what you eat. You hear it all the time. And what you're eating in America is killing you. It's killing you. And everybody's dying young. 
Oh, my friend that died, my very best friend who named this hotel, Andre. He died because of his diet. Your friend who died at 50 died because of their diet. Most likely, unless he got hit by a car. Yeah. So, reversing the aging process or preserving uh, and protecting against all of these diseases that are rampant, it's your diet. And the herbs that you take that are beneficial to you, that are being overlooked, along with a good diet, could really change the quality of someone's life.